Hello YouTube friends and fans. Welcome to my channel. Hope you like and subscribe. I'm going to give you part two of my camera update and monitor change. So I added four cameras and changed out to a Tesla style radio. So let me take you around and show you what I got. KZ Creations thanks you for watching. Please press the red subscribe button for more featured videos in the future. Now on with the show. All right, so since we're towards the back already, let me take you back here and show you the very back. Got the camera up top, replaced it. And the reason to replace the one up top, all the older style wall decks have a five pin S cable running from front to back. I changed them to a four pin. And I also added this rear camera for the base, for the hitch, because the distance between the one up top and the one viewing the back, you could only see, let me show you here, the one would only see the hitch, and then the other one would see the first crack in the concrete beyond. So, could not see to attach a trailer or any of that. All right, so let's walk up to the front here. And we added the other two cameras, our side cameras. Now I could do this even a fifth, the sixth. The ability to add her is not limited. This camera setup was all purchased from Amazon. I put the links below. But you got a set of screws here that loosen and you can turn this optical eye to get the best view for you. And this front half has fiberglass, it allowed me to run the wires easily. Anything back here was a little bit tighter. So, and there's a partition wall running right through there. All right, let's say we've got the same setup here on the other side, viewing right down the, let's turn on the RV inside and see if you get the same views. Now we're inside, you can see the Tesla style radio. You can also see the old, hole for the conventional single dyne stereo put the key in turn her on still boots up fast let's turn the motor on it'll probably cause a little bit too much noise but let's go with it hopefully this is not too loud all right, so as far as the camera setup, you got reverse. Doesn't like having the jacks on. But you can see how I've changed the angle of this. I can see a little bit down, but I missed that whole basket area. Also have this where it's full time on a set of switches. If you haven't seen the previous video, Take a look at that. So this is full time or just running off of the reverse switch. Let's go to full time and see we have it back. I'm going to go ahead and turn the motor off. Maybe it'll be a little quieter. You're going to think, well, how do I get back my radio? Well, all these RVs had the second switch here so you can have the stereo inside still have everything so there's the view now the other switch you saw over there let me go back this switch here allows for top camera no cameras and then bottom camera and now you can see that I can see the ball of the hitch now let me show you the turn signal part of this so there you can see the view of the camera, a little foggy due to the moisture outside and the rain, but pretty much the same view I gave you. Try splitting the screens here and giving it to you with both cameras. You notice it's got a small delay. There's the driver's side. Okay, that small delay, the only way I can figure out to get this correct without spending major money on control boxes. So the way this works for 
the turn signal, I bought a relay that latches and stays energized for a specific set of time. And that relay allows it to be on for two seconds on. So basically with that relay, all I did was run a wire from the end of the turn signal, tapped into it, brought it back, and that energizes the camera and allows it to get its feed and comes back through the system. Now you may have seen the previous video where I show the diode, but what the diode does, like I said, it lets what the diode does, it allows the energy transfer only one direction. And that way when you're powering out your signal wire, it only gets signal and it doesn't activate your other cameras. So let me show you this head unit is not exactly in here permanently. I so said it has the ability to roll. As you can see all the wiring back in here Plenty of room back in there. You can see the wood block that this is unit sitting on. I did take a 4x6, cut it at an angle so this sits upright to my liking. And as you can tell, it didn't seem to visually make a bad appearance. That's notched all kinds of different places. like a zigzag here on the side I had the notch to kind of get that over correctly so it sat more true and flush the other side there's nothing that gets in your way just kind of a pain in and out making your template so if you can do it with cardboard first save you some something you can actually bend and get in and out I do like this style radio haven't had any issues with it. Hopefully that stays that way. It's got your Bluetooth, you know, obviously the radio, which you use a lot. Um, so far, very, very happy. Little GPS signal, we ran up under the edge of the dash here and come out. It's also got the antenna right here. Little tape, doesn't hold worth a shit that they give you. So I'll probably have to replace that soon. All right, so we'll turn off the radio here on the auxiliary button. I say the wires are fished across the dash. There is an exit on the outside of the vehicle in the firewall. Let me go show you that and we'll wrap this video up. You can see all the yellow wire. You can see the yellow wire I've designated for powering up my turn signal. Let me go to the other side, I'll show you it's over there too. There's a four pin connector. These are aviation cables. So, like I say that's running the camera. So hopefully you can see here where that wire comes through the firewall at. Me on the left side of the driver's steering wheel you can access it from the floor. All right, dash removal. Here the Velcro. It's also Velcro down here along the side. Mine had a connector here, like a wire strap. Had one on this side. See the screws already missing still. I haven't put it back. This plate's got to come off. And that's about it. But you got to be gentle when you take it apart. Well, I hope this video was helpful to you. And hopefully you get something out of it. If you need any help, my information is below. I'd be glad to walk and talk to you through as much as I can. Good luck on all your future projects and endeavors. May everything turn out well. Hope you like, subscribe, and come back for more. Thanks for watching. Next level. Next level. Next level. Next level.